Hey, when you're working in Fusion 360, sometimes you start a sketch and it looks like this. You're just kind of off sketching in space. And maybe you've seen it where other people are able to sketch on all these little snapping points on this grid. So let's talk about how to use this grid and some of the gotchas. Hey, this is Tyler Beck with Tech and Espresso. We're talking about how to turn on the grid within Fusion 360. You'll notice when you start a sketch and you go to the planes, you'll notice this grid pops up as a reference point and you might have even seen these numbers off in space. You see that 25, 50, 75, and then you select a face or a plane and then it kind of all just goes away. So let's look at all the settings and how to turn that on. First, there's the snap to grid option, allows snapping kind of like you would guess. But we'll go up and turn on the grid settings. Adaptive is going to be relative to kind of the view that you're in. It's going to create a grid that kind of makes sense. Uh, fixed is also going to be a little bit more like it sounds, where you're setting the size based on the units that you're in. So I'm in millimeter. Let's go back out and look at doing it in inches. And we could have stayed in that dialog box. But let's go to the grid, grid settings, and now you can see it's now in inches. So how would I like to lay out my grid? Maybe I don't want a lot of little steps in the grid. Maybe I'll do, um, I think five was the default, but I'd like it to be um, broken up in five steps and every five steps makes an inch, right? Or every five steps makes five inches, right? So each step would be an inch in this case. So now when we go to start the sketch, you can see these uh, increments are increments of an inch and it's still not on. You'll need to open up your sketch palette and turn on this sketch grid setting. There we go. So now while I'm sketching, you can see the blocks or the grid and each point is an inch in this case so I can snap so this isn't that helpful to me maybe I should have made them a lot smaller um, if you know if this is the relative shape that I'm going to sketch then maybe these increments are way too big so let's try that again if we go to our grid settings and now instead we do um, every inch for those um, you know the major grid spacing will say is one inch Great, and I'll break it up into 10. So now every 0.1 inch is going to be uh, a step or a grid line. Great, you can see it's already redrawn that for me. And there's something else I wanna call out. There's this reference numbers option. If you turn that off, um, that is referring to those those big numbers we were seeing when we were sketching. You can see all these little tiny you know, grid snaps is going to make sketching a little bit nicer that I have all these little uh, snapping points to dial in the sketch that I want. But now when we finish up this sketch and start a new one, there's the planes. You, the, those reference numbers that we had before are gone, and that is in the grid settings. So, so if you want those reference points, they're available with the reference numbers. So one more thing to be aware of when you are sketching with a grid, maybe you like this style, but you want to be able to turn that off occasionally, like it keeps snapping to these points and that's bugging me. So what I'll do is hold control on the keyboard and now it's not going to snap to anything temporarily and I'm allowed to kind of freeform sketch. And now I hold up, you know, turn off that, stop holding that button and now it's going to start snapping again. To those grid points because I have the snap turned on. Obviously, if you turn that off, again, you don't have to hold control. You can do whatever you want, but um, it's still um, snapping to midpoints and things like that, and I can hold control to turn that off. Hey, so if you're looking for exercises to learn Fusion 360, check out this playlist that I created for you, or check out this other video that YouTube thinks will be helpful. Thanks for watching.